Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on Minitab Tutorials. In this video, we are going to understand how we will use individual value plot, a graphical representation which helps us to analyze distribution, variation, presence of outliers, comparison of distributions. All these is possible by using individual value plot. Let's understand how it works. So for, a, for this particular graphical representation, we will take a scenario as I told, individual value plot is going to help us compare distributions, understand the shape of the distribution, compare variation within the distribution, also check for the presence of outliers. So all this is possible by drawing an individual value plot. To understand this graphical representation, we are going to take an example where we are going to compare the growth of a plant in terms of centimeters, the height, where we are going to compare two, in fact, not two, three groups. So we're going to compare one particular group where the plant is only fed with water. Another group of plants where the plant is fed with water along with that, they have also added a fertilizer called GrowFast. GrowFast is a company which is primarily doing this analysis. So they want to understand how effective is their fertilizer, right? So they are having another 50 seeds uh, where they provide water, along with that, they also provide the grow fast fertilizer. And the third group is where they're going to uh, compare the effectiveness of their nearest competitor. So in this case, super plant is another fertilizer company. So the water is going to mix with super plant and the seed seedings was going to be fed with water and super plant. So there are three groups, 50 seedings only with what water, 50 seedings with water and grow fast and 50 seedings water at super plant. So here I have the data. So friends, those who are looking at this video want to practice this data yourself and you want this data to be shared with us, kindly write us to reach us at itrack-s.com. This is our email address. I will share the same email address in the uh, comment section and in the description of this video. So if you want to uh, get access to this data and you want to analyze or you want to practice, Please write to us. We'll be able to share this uh, data with you. But now I'll copy this data. I'll take it to Minitab. So I'm pasting the data here. So now I'm going to click on graph, individual value plot. So individual value plot can be plotted for a single way, can be plotted for multiple ways, and can also be plotted for multiple ways and their factors. So we're going to see this in two sections, two parts of videos. In the first video, we will understand about the single way individual value plot. And we'll also understand about how we can draw the same individual value plot for multiple ways. In the next video, we will see how this individual value plot can be drawn for a single way and also the factors. If you have the data in a single column, how do you do that? If you have data in multiple columns, how do you do that? We'll see both the scenarios in our next video. So now we will first see how to draw this individual value plot for a single way. So I'm going to select this graphical representation and I'm going to select only water. So there was 50 seedings which was spent with only water. So I'm going to click OK. And when I click OK, this is how the individual value plot draw graph comes up. So here for every single data point, there is a value that is plotted. And where you see multiple dots, these are repeated occurrence of the same data point. For example, if I keep my mouse pointer, out of 50 data points, row 4 was 70, row 15 was also 70, row 17 is also 17, row 20, row 29, and row 43. So if you have a particular row where you have many dots getting grouped, then that indicates that is the median of this data. And you can clearly understand here that this distribution is not normally distributed. This distribution is not normally distributed because it does not have the uniform tail. One, uh, one side you have more groupings on the tail, whereas the other side you have less groupings. Also, it tells you the amount of variation in the data. The variation is nothing but the distance to which these dots are spread from the top till bottom, the vertical spread tells you the variation in the data. So these are all things that we can understand from an individual value plot. Now we will see how to use the same graph to compare the distributions of 
three twice. So here we have three groups. Uh, 50 data points where the plants are fed only with water. Another 50 data points where plants are fed with water and super plants. Another 50 sets of data where the plants are fed with water and grow fast. So now I'm going to click on graph, individual value plot. Now I'm going to select multiple voice because I'm going to do the comparison. So I click on OK, only with water, grow fast, super plant. Now I click OK. You'll be able to see this is only with water and this is grow fast and this is super plant. So what you can understand here is to start with the amount of variation relatively limited with grow fast when it compared when it get compared with super plant or when it compared only with water. Again, there is a kind of a by model here because there is some groupings of data point here and some groupings of data point. Still, this particular row. So here, if you see 26, 26 centimeters, that turned out to be the median because that is where you have many data points. But you also have some grouping here. So there is some by model kind of a um, response that you would be able to see. And there is one outlier where it is significantly different from other data points. And when you compare with super plant, it also have a kind of a by model, more groupings here and also more groupings here, but it has a multi mode. So there are almost one, two, three, four, five, five different, uh, you know, rows have equal number of data points. 19 have equal number of data points. 21, 22, 23, and 24. So all these have equal number of data points. And here also you can see there is an outlier here on the higher side. So friends, this is how we will use uh, individual value plot to compare how the data is spread. That means the amount of variation. What is the median? What is the mode, most frequently occurring number? Presence of outlier and the possible distribution, right? So as I told, if you want to do the same analysis with the same data, kindly write us to reaches at itrack-s.com. That's our email address. We'll be able to share this data with you. In our next video, we will understand how to use the same individual value plot, compare uh, a Y parameter with its factors. Here we have compared three different ways. Here the Y is the height of the plant and the factors are only water, water mixed with grow fast and water mixed with super plant. So in our next video, we will understand how to analyze multiple factors with multiple ways. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you in another video with another mini tab uh, exercise or another mini tab based tool. Thank you.